Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Brianna Wilson. I'm a certified dementia practitioner and the founder of Bamboo Care. So today I wanted to do a quick review on a reborn baby doll. This is Elizabeth and she is a Jizzy reborn baby doll. And if you didn't know, reborn baby dolls make for great therapeutic baby dolls for people living with dementia. Now, if you want to learn more, I'm going to link a podcast episode where I talk all about it, and I also talk about therapeutic pets as well, and I'll also link a review that I did on this YouTube channel of the Perfect Pets brand that I did for a therapeutic dog, okay? So again, this is Elizabeth, and she came fully dressed like this, and I'm also going to show you some of the things that she came with. So she did come with a pacifier, which looks like this and it is magnetic. So all you have to do is set it on her lips and it stays in place. Now what I will say is that I did not know that when I first got her. So I was trying to really like push this in her mouth. I wish that it actually fit inside of her mouth but was still magnetic like it is. So that's that. She also came with a bottle and it actually does have the numbers and everything on it. I don't know if it's if the camera is picking them up. Oh, there it goes. See, it has the numbers and everything on it. It's a real bottle. Now, the top is hard to get off, so I took it off before I started recording, but it is a pretty firm top to get off. Now, I want to show you this because this is another thing that I don't necessarily like. When you try to feed the baby, the bottle does not actually fit in her mouth, and I wish that they would have made the nipple small enough to actually fit into her mouth. I feel like that would have made it a little bit more realistic, but it's it's a pretty good quality bottle nonetheless. She also came with a floral headband, which looks like this, and she came with two toys. So that's one, and this is two. And believe it or not, she also came with a diaper. And then lastly, she came with a birth certificate, which as you see, I did not fill out, but her name is Elizabeth, like I said, and she is 17 inches long. Now, typically when I recommend a reborn baby doll, I recommend 17 to 18 inches. I feel like that's the most realistic size and they're not too heavy because they actually do have some weight to them, okay? Now let's talk about some of the things that I like about the baby in and of itself. So I do really like the fact that she is soft body, she is squishy, but she does have firm arms. Now I don't think that they feel like an actual baby, but they do have some give to it if you can see, okay? Now I'm going to bring her closer so you can see some of her features. So we'll start with her hands. So as you can see, that's how her hands are postured. and then. Here are her little feet, okay? And then I'm gonna bring her really close. As you can see, her eyelashes are real hair. Well, maybe not real hair, but they are hair pieces, whereas her head is painted on hair, okay? Can you see the difference? Now her skin color is actually really realistic. I don't know if this camera will be able to pick it up but she has really nice pigmentation as if she was a real baby now something that i do not like is that as you can see this thumb is like thumb sucking position okay and you can put her thumb in her mouth but it's not going to stay there it might sometimes stay for a couple of seconds but ultimately it's going to come out the only way that it's going to stay is if you hold it in there or if you change her to the other side and you use your body to support her hand and her mouth, if that's important, okay? But she does have flexible limbs, which is purposeful because you can kind of position the baby any way you want, especially when it's laying down. Now, something that I want to address because this is a big question that I tend to get is how do you introduce a baby doll to your partner, okay? Now, introducing a baby doll to your partner is just as if you were introducing anything else. It's kind of like a show and tell. So you can say, hey, look what I got, or hey, I wanna show you something, or hey, what do you think about this? 
and then you let your partner decide whether or not they think it's real or they know it's fake, okay? You don't tell them that it's real or fake. You let them decide and then you go with whatever they believe it is, okay? You will know pretty quickly if they believe it's real or not, okay? Then the other thing is you always want to hold the baby as if it's real regardless of what your partner thinks about it. Whether or not they know it's fake or they believe it's real, you always want to treat the baby as if it's real because they could fluctuate on their belief about the baby, okay? And you don't want to traumatize them by carrying the baby around with its arm or head or having it face down somewhere on the couch or dresser or kitchen table or anything like that, okay? So you do really want to prioritize treating the baby as if it's real, okay? So that is just my quick review of Elizabeth, a Jizzy Reborn baby doll. Overall, I really do think that she would make a great therapeutic baby doll for someone living with dementia. If you have any questions, you can definitely let me know, and I'm going to put a direct link to this particular brand doll in the description box. And until next time, bye guys. <music>